Hello! Oh. <laughs> okay, so let's try that again. Hello! Hello! We are Creepy Kitty Crafty. We are a mother and daughter crafting, making, YouTubing type of thing team. And today we're going to have a bit of an experiment, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Um, just so you know, I am uh, Mum, and this is Squinks, my ten-year-old daughter. Mm -hmm. um, and we like to have a go at making and crafting things together, don't we? Mm -hmm. If you didn't, see, if you didn't see our last video, go check it out because it's actually very good. And also, <laughs> and my my daughter likes to make silly voices as well, Hello. as you can tell. Right. So today oh, we are going to make place. our own pin balls. Now you yeah. can see here our lovely collection of pins. This isn't isn't even all of them um, and we do have a tendency to collect pins and they're also things which are quite significant to us so it's me squinks and squinks's father who's in the background who's very very silent Shh, keep it quiet Shut up. <laughs> yep. um and the big problem is of course anybody who likes to collect pin badges knows that they're they, 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 you, you just leave them in drawers you leave them in bags you lose them and you don't really like them, you know, it's, it's nice to have these little pretty things on display, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, so we've decided to make a pin board with it. I've seen a few pin boards in the past, like I've seen like a, um, a rolling, uh, a scroll, sort of hanging scroll for them Harry Potter type pin badges, uh, pin de uh, sort of uh, decorations, but we're going to have a go at doing one ourselves. So. Just quickly, I'll explain. Um, we've got these pins with the, the, the push type back, the push on backs. Mm -hmm. And you can see there, that's my. Um, uh, that's little, mine, that's mine. Our. My little, um, little, 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 little Princess Mononoke Deto, and his name is Johnny. You okay, can let's, him. Let's, let's translate that into English now. These are the little tree spirits from uh, the Studio Ghibli Excuse film. Me, that's not what I said. The Studio Ghibli film uh, Princess Mononoke, mm. who are quite creepy but very very cute. Watch it. But also in the middle there, you can see there's one with a little funny face, and that one is uh, a disguised Ditto. Ditto. And the Ditto has got everywhere. So we've got a Ditto disguised as a uh, an Umbrian Guess. A Pokemon. Guess what Ditto this is. Say in the comments below in three, two, one. It's Totoro! It's Totoro, absolutely. So mm -hmm. we, the Ditto gets everywhere. Mm -hmm. But we've also got some sort of vintage bag badges. So we've got some of um, Daddy's uh, Judge Dredd badges. We've got, got one from um, the um, Steam Museum in Swindon. Got this thing. Got that thing. Got this However, thing. unfortunately, well, we've got we've got quite a few. Um, Red Nose Day pin badges, which I quite like still. Um, um, it's a miracle that they've lasted this long. You can see the little mm -hmm. cool dude there mm -hmm. with his, his starship wait, wait, glasses. Wait. I smell that you haven't subscribed yet. <laughs> subscribe today! You're <laughs> using your, your nose to... Okay, so Squinks is using her nose to smell that you haven't subscribed yet. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe and comment. And do you guys have a good... Um, collection of pins and how would you display yours tell us in the comments below now unfortunately we do have some awesome pins here but we also have some pins that are not the right kind we're gonna have to be um, a bit discreeting a bit mean to some of our pins because unfortunately they've got the wrong type back so even though this one of the Glaceon Pokemon is really cool and really sweet it's got that kind of catch back right there and which will one... not go through the pin board yes and this is this is this. this one is one of my many 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 terry pratchett based designs um and this is the ank Morpork watch police badge policeman badge and that goes and with then... my ank Morpork logo there and of course the uh, Lilac for Lilac Day. If you're a Terry mm. Pratchett fan, you'll know exactly what that means. And then we got this, which is um beautiful, but sadly it has that back too. You know, we could have actually just melted this off and then just put one of those backs on and be like, eh, I'm my yeah, I'm, pin I'm, I'm sorry, I don't have a pin melting equipment available to hand. So 
Yep, so we're going to take this one, this one, and this one, Get and down. we're going to say bye-bye! Get out of here! In the... No, no. Not in the trash. <laughs> no, we're not putting any of our pins in the trash. We will find some other way to display them in the future. I'm thinking like a little hook or something. So, Squinks, mm -hmm. if you would like to do the pin duty and just gently move them to one side. No, the entire board. <laughs> You can see they're kept in a, a, an old shoebox lid. Um, yeah, shoebox lid is where they used to be kept and displayed in. I think we can do better than that, to be honest with you. Long story short, I actually used to use that to display my things. Why you, you good job. Where, where are you going for a walk for? I don't know. Squinks just decided randomly to go for a walk and I have no idea why. <laughs> anyway, you can see the things we've got to use here. We've got some uh, standard QP acrylic paints. Um, which we're going to move to the back um, and we've also got some uh, I haven't got enough space we've got uh, a palette here which I'll move over there for the moment it's flying. and we've got our trusty paint pen which you know the brand you don't need me to say and then we got again we got paint brushes and we've got paint brushes <laughs> so what we are going to be working on, what we're going to be working on is this. This is a fairly bog standard cheap canvas on a frame that you can get from most uh, hobby stores. Thing is though, you can see where the frame is, the pins aren't going to go through there. So carefully on the front, I can feel the edge there. So I'm going to make a little mark there. So I'm going to make a little mark as well. So what we've said is that we're going to try and mix up our creepy and our cutie and our crafty and all this sort of thing. And so Squinks over there is going to do Squinky. Squinks over there is going to do a cute face around about here, and I'm going to do a creepy face around about here. Can mm -hmm. we see that on the camera? We can mm -hmm. see that on the camera. So let's keep it on between us so we can both see what we're doing. So, let's start doing our little creepy and cute design. So, what kind of design are you going to do in your corner? I'm going to do a cute version of my XI girl. XI girl? Yeah, so it's this girl who has black hair and has an XI and then has a cute... Uh, she's got, got like a cute X over her eye. She's yeah. going to have bows in her hair and things she's to make her cute. She's going to have like a heart covering it, like bim, 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 bim. Okay, bim. so, I'm just going to go with my creepy character. I think these characters are going to have to be posked in, paint penned in. Let's start. So we're starting. Now with, the, with these what we'll do is we will do the black outlines the last thing of all but we're going to do the rest of it first because we can do the black over the other colours and make it more defined can't we. I'm going to start on the border over on this side so let's have some drips going down. I'm going to do little hearts and stuff. So we're going to do a sort of colour scheme of on that side we said we're going to have like pale blue darker blue green and black was that right mm -hmm. i think that would look quite nice so going sort of gradually from cutie to creepy or vice versa however you might want to look at it we're not going to be too precious about it because you know this is a practice and maybe in the future we can do some more pin badge things or we this can do some this is going to be recurring so i don't really need to do sketches okay i'm going to draw little characters around here yeah do some little characters do some like love hearts and bows and things i'm going to do little characters around like this area you should make that bow a bit bigger on your side right and do some ties on it like that Mom, is yeah. it okay if I do mum 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 Mummy, yes. Mommy. Um can I do like little character heads down here? If you want to, yes. Okay. Don't do too many, just do 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 a few because then we can do some creepy ones out. You can do some creepy ones on, on this side if you want to, yeah. Do you skull? Should I give him a bow? <laughs> it's kind of the opposite because I did a little baby right there. Mum, I did a little baby and then got it when it's dead. 
<laughs> That's really horrible. <laughs> that is so nasty. <laughs> right, um, should I do what should I do on this side? Should I do like, um, yeah. give me give me something creepy. Um, me. <laughs> yes, but I haven't got time for that now. Hey! <gasps> I'm gonna do another little skull down here. I think. Um, I'm gonna do lips here. Time, time to swap around. Right, I'm gonna swap around. So just bear with the camera for a moment. <laughs> dun 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 dun. So, you've got some space there and there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do some like bows and love hearts and things up here because you haven't got anything up here. I'll do a little, I'll do a bow down here. <laughs> right then, so now we need to swap seats again, so let's go to seat swapping time! Dun, 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 easier to go around this one. <laughs> yeah, <Achoo! laughs> That was so much easier. Achoo! Two, two! <laughs> okay, I think you woke up the entire neighbourhood. Yeah. Right, so... Family one. Let's have a look then. So, what's it, what colours did we say? We said pale blue over there. Mm -hmm. Green in the middle and then black on this side. So mm -hmm. let's start with, with to paint with two stir. No, just paint with you. Don't use the small ones to stir with. Do you want um this colour to start with? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I wanted to mix it with a bit of white because it's not light enough. Right, hold on. Are you murdering it? Yep, I am murdering this pot. No! Because I've only got a little bit left in there, so I've got to get out as much as I possibly can. So, yeah, this is a little trick that I use. If you get to the end of your paint pot, cut it in half, get a palette knife, and... Don't waste your money. Don't waste your money. <laughs> Scoop it all out. If you want to, you can paint straight from the... the um, Half pot, to be honest with you. Wait, can I do that? Nope. Aww. Trying to be tidy. Is that is that light enough? Is that got is that enough for you? Mhm. Mm I think we've got way more than we really need. Time to start painting. Okay, so we're going to be. Um, I'm going to be just blotch that on there. Remember, you can go over the um, uh, pencil marks. I think it's a jump call anyway.
lot so of I minutes. think we're gonna have to call it a day because it's getting late and we haven't had dinner and we desperately want to have some food and this also needs to dry. to dry so we will we're just going to finish off this last little bit of blending there we go see the bigger brush gives it a much smoother blend you see yeah mm -hmm. and we can go do another layer tomorrow how long have we been doing this for? quite a long time so we can leave this to dry and we'll have a nice flat smooth surface to do some poscas on and to do some finishing off on I don't think we're going to need to have a second layer of this ba base coat on so I think we're going to be okay with that one we've just got to do the rest of it okay all right so if you we can say oh I'm going to do a pile of things over there and we hope that went in don't think it did so we're going to finish this tomorrow so bye, bye. bye. One day later. So welcome back. Yes, we, this is a day later. The uh, paint we applied yesterday is now nice and dry. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some color, some base colors here, and I'm gonna do the skull's face. Me. And then we're gonna add. Um, then whilst those parts are drying, the background colors are drying. We're gonna go in with the poscas and add the detail on these little guys here. Add some more splodges and blops and highlights and things and then we can come back and finish these details as well with the posca pens i think that sounds like a plan don't you mm -hmm. right it sounds like a plan sounds like we've, a plan work squinks and i have already got our um colors sort of mixed and ready um thing though is make sure that your layers on this one are nice and thin otherwise the posca is going to go straight through it oh god yes ready steady go If you haven't seen um, our other videos, go check them out. Yeah, because we've got some other groovy, grady, grady? groovy, crazy, crafty ideas that we're having a go at, aren't we? Should that be like a new channel name? Groovy, creaky, crafty. Groovy, creaky, crafty. I don't think anybody's going to look for creaky. That's the thing. Wait, is there even a word? Yeah, well, it is now. <laughs> the more you know. Uh, yeah, sometimes. so we're on the home stretch now we've done our little areas of uh, base coloring and now it's time to bring in these bad boys the lovely Posca pens um, so Florence has got a piece of paper to dab on so if you want to ask me for your mm -hmm. first color we're gonna do the black last so we can do like the outlines well why don't you do your skins white and then go over with and then, and then have a little bit of pink to go over it with Face. So, so you need to dab to get it to flow through first.
the child's crying, but why, Mom? I don't know. Why is the child crying? Because you haven't subscribed yet. Okay. That back one. <laughs> that was bad. Okay. So, I think I'm done with the colours. Um, I've got to redo all the ones on your side that you've covered over. What about this guy here? You can do her. Oh, thank you. I'm allowed to, am I? What else am I going to do on my side? Um, I wanted to do my ones now. Where's the black? Just going to do the black outlines on my last ones on here. Closer here because of my tiny hands. <sighs> Just remember, Squinks, don't curl with that one because that one's mine. Your bow on there is still a bit wet, so is the hair, so we're gonna have to wait for that one for a while. Mm, please, it should be. The skin color kind of thing. Right then, now for the fun part, let's swap over again. Wait, you Yours did... is still a bit damp though. You did tell, right? No, I did the creepy side, you said you were going to do the creepy side. Yeah. Creepy side. Now we've got a problem because Squinks has done her little face on that side, but yours still looks a little bit wet. Because I think, is the face dry? The face is dry. So there's that little bit of pink up there, so we might have to do that off camera. And I'm gonna get started over here, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we've got to the end of this uh, making of this one. Uh, we've learned quite a lot from it, and I think we've done quite well. It's uh, it's a proper collaborative effort, I think. Mm -hmm. I've just, um, I learned something. I I can't draw babies. <laughs> <laughs> well, you
Well, you can. You just have to do a bit more carefully. But um, I think this is definitely um, a good working practice. And I think what we've come up with at the end is, is quite nice. Obviously, the paint is still dry, um, still getting dry. <clears throat> so what we'll do is... We won't put the pins in right now. We're going to wait until it's all dry and then we'll take another couple of pictures of it and then we'll put it either put it in the video right now or we're going to add it on to the end of the video. Mm -hmm. um, but either way, you can see the end result and mm -hmm. you can see our lovely pin collection being displayed as it probably should be. If we were to do this again, what would you do differently if you did this again? Um, I would, um, One second. I would not draw that girl. <coughs> it's been blessed with mum's cough. Yes, um, yeah, I would say maybe next time we would have uh, an image to work from rather than just making off on our heads. Do a bit more practice, a bit more prep, but I think overall it's come out quite well. I'm quite pleased with my little smog monster um, um, drawing I'm here. I'm pleased with what I've done with my character. Why not? I think it looks really good. But, you know, same as every everybody. We're still learning, we're still developing, and you know, this is a practice, and maybe we can do it again sometime in the future when we're a bit more practiced, yeah? Uh -huh. But I think otherwise it's pretty awesome. So, like I say, wait until the end of the video. Please like, subscribe, and comment and say what you think we did right, what we did wrong, what you think we should do better next time, what we can do again in the future, and we'll see if we can give it a go. Um, but overall, I think this has been a success successful experiment and definitely something we can do again next time. I've just noticed something. What, what have you noticed? Um, the baby's... the baby. This mm. baby, he's, he's one month old and he knows nothing and this is a child and the baby's bigger than the child. Or maybe it's a big baby and a small child. Hey! No, this is a baby, and the baby's bigger than the child. Well, maybe. So it's a very big baby. And maybe, very the, maybe, the, small maybe the baby is just standing closer. No. Right, so there we go. Um, I think we're all done. And um, make sure you wait until the end of the video to see the finished piece. And like, subscribe, and share. Next video, um, we thinking about doing some resin but it's more likely to be as it's the end of october we're going to be doing pumpkin carving pumpkin carving so we can do some creepy and some cute pumpkins to set, put outside our house and see how long it wakes, takes for the neighbors kids to, to, to destroy them make sure you tune in and we'll see you next time so thank you for watching and bye bye, -bye.